It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Today's video is uh, on Andy Griffith was married three times. You ever wondered who his wives were and where they are now? If you ever did, you're going to get the answer today. Let's take a look. I'm going to start with his first spouse, who is his college sweetheart, Barbara Bray Edwards. Uh, the very first spouse that the late Andy Griffith married was his college sweetheart. Uh, bo uh, born on the 17th of August of 1926. She hails in the same state as Andy, uh, North Carolina and grew up in a family of five, which included her father, James Edwards, uh, mom, Dixie Vance, a brother named James Jr., and a sister named Mary. Barbara grew up in North Carolina and completed her high school diploma before heading off to the University of Chapel Hill. Blessed with a beautiful soprano voice, she enrolled for a music degree, and it was in the course of her classes that she met Andy Griffith. They began dating in the late 40s and got married upon graduation in 49. Uh, going into their union, Barbara and Andy Griffith had a clear vision of not only succeeding in their family life, but also in their careers. They formed a musical comedy duo and performed at, the venue, at any venue that would have them, including community centers. They encountered tough times, but many believed that Barbara, with her beautiful voice, would go on to become a future star. This was not to be, though, as it's Andy Griffith, uh, who utilized the spoken word routine. What it was was football released a comedy single in 54. The single was a hit, and it marked the beginning of his blockbuster career. The success initially brought joy to Barbara and Andy Griffiths, but it also turned out to be a problem. Uh, they both, uh, a couple both drank a lot and squabbled over several issues. Matters were further complicated by Griffiths' rumored infidelity with his Andy Griffith show co-stars, such as Joanna Moore and Anita Corso. Uh, the marriage between the couple later broke down uh, irre irretrievably, and they divorced in 72. She and Andy Griffith were married for 23 years. They never had a child together, but adopted two children, a son, Andy, who died in 1996, and a daughter, Dixie. Following her divorce from Andy Griffith, Barbara and he married a man named Michael St. Clair in 75. They remained together until her demise at the age of 50 in 1980. His second marriage was to Greek actress Solika Pasuto. Uh, Andy Griffith did not spend too much time agonizing over his divorce from Barbara, but rather comment, commenced a new romance with actress uh, Solika Pasuto. The same year his divorce was finalized. She is originally from Greece and was born in the year of 1950. She pursued a career as an actress, but only scored in minor roles. He, uh, a couple most probably ran into each other at an industry event and comments. A relationship in 1972. Their romance quickly progressed, and by the next year, they tied the knot. The ceremony was simple, one but nonetheless heartfelt. It took place in the backyard of Andy's home uh, and featured a large harp that serenaded the couple during the ceremony. Following the nuptials, they settled down in Toluca Lake. The actor continued making waves in his own career while she also pursued hers, but she was never able to reach the kind of success that her husband achieved. This reality did not cause any problem with the couple, though. She was a fine wife as well as a fine stepmother to Griffith's children from his first marriage. The couple appeared on the red carpet on several occasions and also made time to visit Andy's family back in Mount Airy. Most people believe that the marriage between Griffith and Casuto would not last, given that he was conservative and she was free-spirited. Uh, the couple proved the doubters wrong and made their union work for eight years. They later divorced in 81. It's not known whether she ever remarried as she dropped out of the spotlight following their divorce. Uh, the third uh, wife uh, was a high school teacher, Cindy Knight, in 1983. Uh, she was Andy's wife at the time of his death in 2012, originally from Jacksonville, Florida. She was born on the 2nd of May, 1953, and grew up as the daughter of two educators. Uh, thanks to her parents' influence, she obtained a college degree from Jacksonville University and went on to become a high school teacher. 
taught English. She also had an interest in dancing and took several classes. Stan's training later motivated her to try for several stage productions, and one of the plays that she landed a part in was The Lost Colony in 78, North Carolina. Andy Griffith happened to be a cast member of The Lost Colony, and they both became good friends. They stayed in the friend zone for about two years, as the actor was still married to his second wife. He later divorced the Greek actress in 81, and they began their romance. They dated for about two years before tying the knot. Cindy Knight tried to make a go at her career and scored the role of a secretary in a TV series, Matt Houston, from 82 to 83. She also had a minor role in an 83 TV movie, uh, Murder in Coweta County, which also featured her husband. After this, she dropped her career and concentrated on her home life. That home life turned out to be quite successful. They never had any kids, but they had enough love to sustain a marriage for 29 years. During this time, they enjoyed the highs and uh, of award ceremonies and the likes. They also faced the multiple health challenges that confronted Andy, including a heart attack and a hip injury. Uh, the couple triumphed above all this, stayed married until the actor passed away in 2012. Knight, alongside his daughter Dixie, inherited his estate, and the Jacksonville native is now living out of the spotlight. She has never remarried, at least to the best of public knowledge. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, something a little bit different and uh, do me a favor and share these out if you don't mind. Uh, I want to apologize for not answering the comments uh, lately in the comment section. I There's two days a week that I get or really hard days and just getting the videos up is hard enough but uh, it's just I'm so tired by the time I get done with what I do uh, that I just I'm not up to it. I do my best. Uh, I'm going to continue to do my best. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you'll forgive me. Uh, please don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia, classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Uh, they're over there waiting for you. Go over there and watch. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless. Be praying for you.